Hey Leo, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nelly, aka Awotero, and I'm here to give you guys your weekly reading. We're going to tap into this energy, see what's coming towards you guys this upcoming week. Before we get started, guys, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can be notified when I post a new reading. If you are a returning subscriber, guys, thank you so much for all your love and support. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Alrighty, Leo, as you all know, these readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. These are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, guys, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. There is no gender in tarot. Please reverse the roles as need be. Cross watchers, you're always welcome. Guys, don't forget to check the other placements so you get a better understanding of this energy. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get your overall message for the weekend here, Leo. Uh, for the week, I apologize. For the week, what is the week? The weekly message here for Leo Universe. You got you got the magician in the the magician and the mirror in the reverse. Okay, so there's some scattered energy here. Deceit. Oh wow. And door to value. Makes sense. All righty. Leo. You're dealing with somebody who's very deceitful. Somebody is playing some game on you. Somebody's running some game on you. And you're coming to realize that you're worth more than this. You've been putting up with a lot of bullshit right now. You've been putting up with this person's scattered energy and you're tired of it. You're definitely tired of it. And I feel that you've come to realize that whoever's in your inner circle, they're just a bunch of liars. And you want to move on from this. With the door to value here, you know that your worth is way more than what you're putting up here with. You got the Queen of Swords here. It's time to turn your back on people. Okay. With the Nine of Cups, you're getting wishes being fulfilled here. With the Page of Coins here, somebody's coming towards you with an offer. This may be work-related or maybe a personal relationship, but I think at the end of the day, you're starting to realize that whoever it is that you're dealing with, they're a bunch of liars. And they're just, they're doing wrong. They're doing wrong behind you, behind your back. I, I just heard you're getting backstabbed. Knight of Pentacles here. You've been you you've known this already for a while now. Slowly but surely, you've been realizing that whoever it is that you're dealing with, they're very deceptive. What else for Leo Universe? Yeah, look at the Five of Swords. Someone's being very deceptive. Someone's lying. Someone's cheating. They're holding secrets from you. They're actually holding you back from moving on. With the Five of Coins here, you're getting ready to release this connection. Like you don't want to deal with it anymore. You're gonna leave it out in the cold. You want to heal yourself. You may have even been married to this person here. I'm sorry. With the Ten of Cups, some of you guys are walking away from, from wherever you live at with this person. Seven of Pentacles here. You see growth, but you don't see growth in the connection. If not, you see growth within your personal, your personal growth. Okay? You got to move away from this energy. I feel that whoever you're dealing with, this person is just lying to you. They're just trying to keep you stuck. With the world here, you need to close out a cycle. Look at Queen of Wands. This is you, Leo. You're right here, baby. Look at with the Ten of Coins. You got stability coming towards you. You got a lot of good things coming towards you, but you got to release these, these deceptive energies that are holding you back. What else, universe? Sun, again, Leo. You're back into your own reading. And the Tower moment. Yep, you got to let this happen already, okay? You know that the people that surround you are liars. You know that the people that surround you are, are backstabbers. You know that the people surround you, they don't, they're not looking out for your best interest at the end of the day. You know this. You definitely know this. You're in a position where, where you're good. Money is good. Um, stability is good. You're just in a good place. And you cannot let these people that surround you and your personal life to affect you in any way. You got to give up on certain connections. Shit, for some of you guys, you're going to break up with people just because they're just being deceptive. And you know you have to do this. You got a lot of happiness coming towards you. You got a lot of stability coming towards you, okay? You got the, you're pre-empress, baby. You're in a real good place here. Not, not to be in any way, shape, or form to make you feel like you're better than anyone else, but actually you are better than these people. Like you shouldn't be dealing with these people. These people are below you, okay? And it's time for you to move on, okay? You got an emperor coming into the connection here. You got to stop working on these past connections already because these people don't serve any purpose in your life. You have a soulmate coming towards you. 
but you're going to be a little bit guarded when this person comes in. They're going to come in out of nowhere. They're going to come in here to try to fix something that, that was broken for you in the past, not something broken between you and them, okay? And with the Hierophant, you got somebody coming in here and offering you um, a higher level commitment. With the Six of Swords here, you're being asked in the reverse not to go back to this person who is non-committal. Okay, your soulmate is getting ready to come towards you. This soulmate is going to, you're going to be able to have a happy life. You're going to be able to have a beautiful home. You're going to have everything that you've ever wanted with this new person. But you got to release the past already. You got to let this deceptive person go because they don't serve a purpose in your life. I just heard they're just using you for money. Okay, you got to take this leap of faith here. You got new beginnings, new passionate beginnings coming towards you, Leo. You got to let go of these people that don't serve a purpose in your life anymore, Leo. You got new beginnings all over the place. But you definitely have to let go of these people. Because if you don't, you're going to be your worst enemy. You're going to... Oh, man. You're not going to allow all this happiness, all this abundance to come towards you because you're consistently dealing with, with these past people. You got to let them go. You got to let them go because you got a lot of happiness, a lot of stability, a lot of good things coming towards you. Well, all righty, Leo, I hope this reading gave you some clarity. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if you guys want to book a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. Talk to you soon. Bye.